I'm kicking hieroglyphics like Egyptians Cause I'm a nihilist like the Nile is Get it? Open my eyelids To all these Pontius pilots who might be stylish but they blind in compliance Wired to their wireless and they public with their privates They mind but they mindless and they see the guidance is a minus This all is major with the minors I've seen and done it all and been a buyer and supplier Preacher and a choir, a demon and messiah Part of the demon, the pariah I'm achieving my desires even if the cops come with the gun Pointing at me squeezing fire, I'm deceiving liars Arresting police, even preaching the priests Did not be preaching the peace Every time that I be breathing the trees I'm high as I can feasibly be I be feeding the beast Chilling with the roots and eating the beat And then I just put my feet on the street It's like Who uh. do you want to be? Concoctions often getting popped in, problems forgotten Cause having thoughts is like a coffin when you're spoiled rotten It's so monotonous, misogynist, a serial monogamous It's obvious you're getting lost in it, you need to put a sock in it You're not the boss of it, you can only say you are if Today was opposite and I'ma just rap like a mummy and sarcophagus I'm saying this side is up cause I'm always on top of it It's like praying when you skip church It's like winning a fight and then saying that your fist hurt It's like every day on this earth it's like dying when you never live first. Who do you want to be? Who do you, who do you, who do you? The only one I want to be is me. Okay, as promised, I'm going to show you how to model this in Fusion. So first, we're going to just get our uh, sketch and some dimensions before we jump into Fusion, just to make things a little bit easier. So we're just going to roughly draw draw out our geometry now, and you don't need to worry about putting in dimensions just yet. And we're only going to draw half of this, so I'm going to delete this line here and actually change it to a construction line. Uh, we're going to do a mirror command to um, mirror this so we don't have to model the whole thing. Um, so just deleting all my extra lines here and adding in my dimensions. Now this is probably going to change depending on which brand of uh, tool you use, um, but this works with uh, Porter Cable batteries. Specifically the 20 volt ones. I don't know if the uh, other variations are uh, gonna fit this as well so you'll just need to kind of model this based on your tool and just cleaning up some of these things here and um, now we're gonna do our mirror command so I'm drawing I'm gonna select all of my um, lines that I just drew and I'm not gonna select that construction line and I'll change uh, the mirror line to that construction line so now we have just mirrored that and it is um, perfectly symmetrical and now we're gonna extrude this and it, for, for mine it works out to be about 55 millimeters so that's what we're going to do here and now that we have that done we want to put some mounting holes on here so i'm going to do a sketch on this inside face and i'm just going to draw a, a circle uh, about three and a half millimeters that's what works with the size screws that i'm using and now we're going to do a rectangular pattern so we don't have to draw four circles and we'll just um, do this uh, two by two. And the nice thing about this is if you ever change that first circle, all the other ones will update as well. And I'm just moving it to get it a little bit more centered. This isn't critical. Um, so now that we have that done, we can extrude those holes all the way through and cut them. And once we have that done, we're gonna add a chamfer. So my countersink screws sit flush with the surface because I don't want it to interfere with the battery um, itself. Now the next thing that I have is there's a small detent in, on my battery on this side where it'll actually hit um, and not sit flush. So I measured this out and I'm just projecting the geometry that I have and I, it's, it's eight and a half millimeters um, by the width of the channel. So just drawing a rectangle right here and I will extrude it um, 1.5 millimeters inward. 
And now that I have that, uh, I'm just going to put a little fillet over here. Um, kind of just for funsies. Uh, it's not really critical, but I thought it might look a little bit nicer. And now that we have that done, we want to put some fillets on the inside. And this is actually going to make the part a lot stronger by adding those small fillets right there. And I'm going to add some fillets on the outside as well, just so it isn't so sharp. And that's, that's it. So uh, hopefully you learned something. I know this was a pretty quick project and I've, I've been gone a while, but had to take a quick break from YouTube and uh, trying to get back into it. So hopefully you learned something on this project. Um, if you did, give it a, give it a like. Uh, leave a comment below. Uh, this tool holder has already been really amazing in my workshop. I don't have to dig through bags to find uh, my batteries. They're just right there on the wall right by my charger. So thank you very much for watching. And if you'd like to see more like this, let me know. And we'll see you soon. All right, bye.